So we're going to talk about uh, the bar graph I need you guys to make for the tying it all together for chapter three. Okay, the data table for this graph is either in your textbook on page 994, it's figure 323, or it's also in the, the tying it all together chapter three Google Doc that is assigned to you guys. Okay, so you can see on the y-axis, okay, I have average net primary productivity in kilocalories per square meter. Think of that as like one, one meter by one meter by one meter one by one meter. It's basically a big box with meter sides per year. So kilocalories per square meter per year. Okay, this square meters, this is the same exact thing we're doing in our field study. We've marked it off in by one meter each side. Okay, on the x-axis, okay, you can see I have terrestrial ecosystems and I have aquatic ecosystems, and then I have them all named here. Okay, the top amount is 9,000. So I've actually left a little bit more. I've gone one above just to give it a little bit more space. Typically when you do graphs, you want to do that. So when I look into the, into the textbook, okay, you can see page 94, 323. This is the data chart that I'm using. So I will go to swamp and marsh. That has average net primary producti productivity of 9,000. So what I would do to start it off, I would just go from swamp and marsh, go all the way up to 9,000, and I would put a little dot. Okay, I'm not going to build the bars just yet. I'm just going to mark off the top spots where they all are, and then I'll build the bars later. Okay, tropical rainforest is the next one. It's also at 9,000. Okay, I'm just going to start making up some, some numbers here. Okay, don't believe the next little part. I'm just going to start making up numbers. So let's say that the uh, that the temperate rainforest, which is the next one, is at uh, let's say seven thousand. Okay, and that the taiga is at uh, three thousand, and the savanna is at fifty-five hundred. And the uh, what's next? The woodland and shrubland. Let's say it's at uh, let's say it's at seventeen fifty. So that'd be right about there. Okay. So basically, just go through. I would just put a whole bunch of dots first off. Then once you have all the dots placed. Then, like for woodland, woodland and shrubland, you just build your bar. Then, I would choose different colors, honestly, and it could just simply be two colors. So, like, let's say savanna is one color and wetland and shrubland or woodland and shrubland is another, just to make them differentiate each other, so it's easier to read. Okay, let me know if you guys have questions.